So, <clears throat> for example, we want to find out how to make a stem and leaf plot given two digits. So, I'll just give a few examples. So, for example, I have the following data. I have 10, 11, then 15, then 35, then I have 28. Okay, so... And then I have, uh, let's say, 27. So I only have very few data right here. What I want to do is um, I want to make a stem and leaf plot. So from the first video that I have shown, okay, so you can check it out if you want to see and be able to understand it step by step. I made a video about this. So what we do to make this is we identify first the lowest and the highest number. Okay, the greatest and the lowest number. So from here, we know that 10 is the lowest number and then 35 is the greatest number. And then we try to check the highest place value of these two given numbers, the lowest and the highest number. Okay, the highest place value that they have is in the tens place, right? So what we do, we will now start making the stem and leaf plot. So it will be stem part for the stem part. Okay, so stem and leaf part. All right, so the leaf part will be, the stem part will be the tens um, digit of all the given data. So our lowest is 10, so we'll start with 1. And then we'll end up to 3. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. All right, so for us to be able to input all the terms right here, or not terms, all the values right here, what we do is we check each number. So this is 10, right? So 10 is 310 on the ones on the tens digit 10 that's 1 and then 0 for the left leaf part that's 10. So 11 therefore would be 1 because this one means 10 and another one here. So 11. All right? Next, what about the 15? So 1 and then 5. All right? And the next is 35. So 30 is 10 20 30 and then we write the 5 here. So, meaning to say, all the ones digit should be written on the leaf part, right? And we have 28, so 20 and then 8. And then 27, so 2, 7, 27. All right, so <clears throat> that's our given value. And then the, the last part for this is you need to write the key, okay? So, the key note here is... Um, we will try to write uh, what the how will they understand our stem and leaf part. So we will just pick any number here, pick any value from the stem. So I will pick 2, slash, and then I'll pick 7. Okay, so 2 slash 7 is 27. So this is like the legend that they will follow for them to understand what we made. Okay, so this is for two-digit number. What about for three or more digits? Okay, so I'll just give three-digit number. So what if we have 365, this will be our data. So this is our first data, and this is for two digits. Okay, this is our second data for three digits or more. So we have 365, and then we have 300, and then we have 250, and then we have 135, and then 306. All right, and then we have 225, and then we have 173, okay? So for us to make stem and leaf plot for this, so we will write stem, and then this part is for the leaf part. So what we do, again, we identify the highest and the lowest value number. So the highest value number here is 365. And the lowest value number is 135, okay? And then what we do earlier, we only kept, for the stem part, we only kept the highest place value, right? It's only one digit. So if it's three or more digits, we have to leave the last digit to be the leaf part, okay? So the leaf part here is the last digit. So we're going to pick all the other digits, so for three-digit numbers, we're going to pick the first two digits. That will be our stem. 
So this will be, we are, remember, our lowest value number is 135. So we are going to start with um, 13. Okay, 13. We don't have 14, right? So we can skip it because if we do that, it will be a long number. You can actually do that. So 13, 14, 15, we don't have 16, we don't have, then we have 17. All right. 18, we don't have. 19, we don't have. So this is for the 13 part. So I'll just mark it. So this is the 13 and this is the 13. Okay. So we have 13, 17. So this is 17. 18, 19, when, no, none. So 20, there's none. 21, there's none. 22, we have 22. Okay. So 22. 23, 24, there's none. 25, we have right and then 26 27 we don't have 28 29 30 okay so we have 30 30 so we're almost done 20 oh 30 30 it's not 30 so 30 all right so 30 and then 30 after 30 the last number is 36 the last stem is 36. All right, so we have 36 right here. Okay, let's write 30. <clears throat> no space anymore. Okay, so I'll rewrite that. Is it no more space? So we have here stem and then leaf part. All right, so we have 13, 17, 22. 25 and then 30 and then the last is 36 okay so and then i'll erase this one because there's okay and then how will we input all the data let's look up look back here so we have 365 so 36 and then 5 okay then 300 is 30 and then 0 then 250 is 25 and then 0 and then 135 is 1, 3, and then we write the 5. And then 306 is 30, and then 6. Okay. And then 225 is 2, 2, and then 5 right here. Then 173. So 173. And then don't forget the key whenever you make a stem and leaf plot. So you would write, uh, let's say, 17 slash 3 is equal to 173. Okay? Alright, let's go to the last example. What if our given data are decimals? So, let's go to letter C. So, letter C right here. We have, for example, the date is 11.5. And then 11.2. And then 5.3, and then we have 3.6, and we have 10.2, and then we have 7.8, and then 6.6. .6. All right, so when we do stem and leaf plot for this, what we do is we again we determine the highest and the greatest value so from here we could say that our greatest value is 11.5 and our lowest value is 3.6 all right so after identifying that we are going to identify the highest place value which is the 10 space right, so when you do that you check this one it's three right therefore it's zero three but Let's check whether you could just write it that way. So we have here for the stem part. So what we do, it's starting at 3. So we could do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so we'll stop at 11. And uh, right now, for us to be able to um, properly... Um, um, record all the data we have right here so what we do we will try to check that the decimal point is now the line the separator for the stem and leaf part or the vertical line um, shows or signifies our decimal point so when we try to um, 
record all of our data. So 11.5 will be here, 11.5, and then 11.2, 11.2, and then 5.3, so 5.3, then 3.6, uh, let's erase that one. So 3.6, so it will be right here, and then 10.2 would be here. And then 3.6, 10.2, and then 7.8. So 7.8 will be here, and then 6.6. .6. As you can see, we have to arrange the leaf part from greatest to lowest, and some stem does not have any data. So we can just cancel it so that it will be shortened. So therefore, our final stem and leaf part would be stem for the left side, and then the leaf part, which you could leave as blank. So it would be three, six, five, three, six, six, seven, eight, ten, two, and then eleven, and then two, five. So please remember that it is important that we write our key, or else some people would be confused with this and imagine this as a whole number. So you would write three slash six means. 3.6 so you can go back and check whether your stem and leaf part is correct so 3.6 is this 5.3 6.6 then 7.8 and then 10.2 and then 11.2 and 11.5 so this is how we make the stem and leaf plot for decimals